Hey everybody, Pastor Jim here from the Indian Lake Community Church in the Lighthouse of Indian Lake. And I'm coming to you today, uh, not from my office or any place like that. Uh, yeah, I'm laying in my hammock, and uh, there's a reason for it. Um, this is not what I intended to be doing uh, at this time of the day. But So I got up this morning, I had places to go, things to do, and, and all that kind of stuff. And when I uh, woke up and the dog got up out of her bed to follow me, I noticed uh, she started shaking her head uh, the way dogs do. That you know, it's, it's not a good thing. And then I, I let her out and she did her business and as she was coming up uh, back to the porch. She was had her head tilted to one side and her ear was kind of cocked funny and I thought, hmm, not good. And then <laughs> to confirm it, when she came in the house, she stuck the side of her head down on the carpet and started plowing the carpet uh, with her head, trying to scratch the ear. And so I'm not a genius, but I was thinking she's got an ear infection. And I called the vet and uh, they sent it to a grease that I should bring her in, not let it go all weekend. So changed plans, loaded her in the car, took her down to uh, the vet and uh, had her checked out. Now, she doesn't do real well with strangers. She's a rescue dog. Uh, she was uh, abused and abandoned and uh, we rescued her uh, going on 11 years ago or something like that. And so um, she's still kind of timid and quirky and she doesn't always do well with strangers. And so. The experience, uh, well, it wore her out. And uh, if you're not gonna take my word for it. Yeah, there she is, she's pretty wore out. Uh, so we call her the Hope Dog, we call her Hope or Doper, we call her the Big Dog, uh, or sometimes her official title, which is the best dog ever, but uh, she's still our baby. And so afterwards, she was pretty wore out. And I thought, well, when I get home, I need to do something uh, special for her, give her a treat because I also had to put eight drops in each ear uh, every day and throw this ginormous <laughs> antibiotic somehow down the back of her throat. And so uh, she'd had a hard day and I'm trying to think through how I'm gonna get everything done that I wanted to get done. So I stopped for gas uh, afterwards and I'm pumping gas at uh, Sam's Club. And the, the attendant who works the pumps there came over to me and he, and he looked at me and he said, uh, does your dog like blue buffalo? And I said, well, yeah, that's the food that we give her. And he said, really? He said, good. He said, I'm all out of milk bones, but I got these these uh, blue buffalo treats. He said, they're bacon, egg, and cheese flavor. And uh, you think she'd like one? And I said, well, if she won't eat it, I will. Because it's, I mean, hello, it's bacon, egg, and cheese. Who wouldn't want that? And uh, he gave her a treat because, you know, she had her head sticking out the window, uh, wondering when we were going to be done and when we were going to get home. And he pet her and we talked a little bit, uh, talked about dogs, talked about the weather or whatever. And uh, I said, well, she needed that because she's had a rough day. She's been at the vet and the ear infection. And he said, oh, poor girl. And so he gave me another one. So uh, I gave her another treat. And, uh, you know, we said goodbye, got in the car, started it up and uh, off we went. And, and I got to thinking, you know, this is the thing about the world right now. If you turn off social media, turn off the news, the world's still a beautiful place. And there's still good people in it, people doing good things. And if you start to go outside and enjoy the beauty of the world around us and the people that are in it, for the most part, it's still a beautiful place. If you, if you pause, you take a break, and you let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, then uh, you'll be at peace more so than, uh, than ever because, let's face it, uh, the world right now is in turmoil, but the more we feed on it, the more we feed ourselves, the more we watch the news, the more we watch social media, uh, the more we argue with somebody uh, on social media, which um, I think the equivalent of arguing with somebody on social media, uh, you can accomplish the same thing if you just talk to a wall. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had a conversation with somebody on social media and then at the end you see them say, oh, well, I've never thought of it that way. You have changed my opinion. You don't, you don't see that. Uh, people don't want to uh, discuss. They just want to yell at each other. And, and you might as well just go and, and bang your head on the wall because you're going to get the same results. Uh, nobody changes their mind and you're going to end up with a headache. So here's what I would say to you uh, for today. Um, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And beauty can be interpreted as grace, mercy, righteousness, love. You can interpret it so many different ways. But you can also take it at face value from the old, uh, the old King James Version, the beauty of the Lord our God and the world around us. In the natural world and in the people that we encounter, yeah, just let that happen to you. Uh, take some time away. Take a deep breath and re uh, rejuvenate yourself, you know? So 
Anyways, that's my advice to you today. And uh, I got to go because I do have to accomplish something today. <laughs> I'm not sure what. But anyways, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ go with you and keep you. And may you find the beauty of the Lord our God in this world today and always. Take care. Hope to see you soon.